August 30th, 2016. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. No. We did a private Buffy for the water buffaloes. That's why there's no Buffy on the head today. That's why we're going back to our roots down there in the wild, wild west. Yep. Funny thing is, today, believe it or not, it's the only national day I can find that's attached to August 30th, no matter where I look, is National Toasted Marshmallow Day. Yeah, Marshmallow Day. So, I thought since I worked real hard to find that out, that there was nothing else, I'd find a marshmallow quote. Last night, I dreamed I ate a 10-pound marshmallow. When I woke up, the pillow was gone. Tommy Cooper. Yep. Yep. You know, it's kind of funny to see that, believe it or not, there was only 10 marshmallow quotes that I could find anywhere, and that was one of them. But, you know, it's, you know, it, it just, you know, and some of them don't even make sense that you look at and you wonder how or why or, you know, every two months I allow myself to splurge a day when I eat thick doughy pizza from Pizzeria Uno or ice cream sundae from a store with the birthday cake, ice cream, marshmallow fluff, and toppings mixed in. Yeah, Dylan Lauren. I mean, that's the kind of other quote that I could find. So, anyway, National Marshmallow Day, you got your quote. I had a dream that I ate a 10 pound marshmallow. When I woke up, my pillow was gone. Tommy Cooper. Ha. Huh. We're on an early round four today because we've had short robustos or nubs. And what we have right now is, you got it, it's a CAO Brasilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good cigar. Lots and lots of flavor. Oh, man, if you want a flavorful cigar, this is one of them. You need to grab a hold of it. My discussion is today is why aren't you trying other cigars? Why are you stuck in a route? I know people, I've done a blind test, gave people a cigar, they loved it and they loved it and they couldn't figure it out and it had a lot of flavor and it was a Maduro and everything else and then when I told them what it was it was like, you are got to be kidding. Exactly. One of those that we did it on was the Dark Shark. If you didn't know the price and you didn't know the label on it and you just tried it, you probably would like it. You know, those are the kind of things that I do to get people to experience different cigars and different things out there. You have to at least attempt it. You know, same thing. I got people who do not like peanut butter, bacon, banana sandwiches. Yeah, they're awesome, especially on rye bread, but sourdough is better. But, ooh, if you've never tried it, don't ooh. Okay? Try it, you'll like it. If you don't, okay, I understand. But if you've never tried it, zip the lip. Man, all I'm saying is get out of your comfort zone, try something different. You might find another new flavor palette change or that a flavor of cigar might have moved you or something that doesn't have spice but has more smooth, earthy tones. You never know, but you got to try it. Plus, like in the Dark Shark, they're pretty cheap. Less than two bucks a stick. Hey, and people love them. Um, what can I say? Smoke what you like, like what you smoke, and remember always to go kick some ash.